14 murdering niggas while they creeping uh, Duck or you ass out, drink till you pass out Ain't scared to die, drunk driving in my glass house Niggas is under me, they bitches come to me They heard the stories, nigga, now they so, this gonna be the start of my new series where basically I speak about the stuff that they ch specifically choose not to teach in uh, public schools or, you know, just schools in general. Like, they, they tend to leave this specific part out of the teachings when it comes to black history, Native American history. Well, I'm not gonna really say Native American history because I can't really give you information on that or much at this moment. Hopefully, you know, I continue to read and come across a lot of information and text that informs me but uh you know right now i want i want to talk about the willie lynch theory and this is for my you know mainly for my young black audience my older black audience because they didn't i ain't learned about this shit lucky i learned about it at a young age i'm still under 20 you feel me i ain't know about this shit until i actually took the time and researched it and you know for my young niggas out there yo read i don't care bro read a book at least one book on your culture at one one point in time you feel me because yo this shit is very informative and it is it's, it's always good i know i know i know that shit ain't help you make money nigga i know how you thinking because i was once thinking like that too but it is always good to know knowledge you feel me just in case niggas try to talk shit about you you feel me because you know you you be in the one time at some point in time you're gonna be in these jobs and they try to you know uh they try to belittle you and shit you feel me so uh yeah, man, the Willie Lynch theory. So basically, it was a letter from a uh, guy named Willie Lynch. That's where we get the whole lynching from. It, and lynching was a part of this Willie Lynch theory. The theory was to create uh, a race of black men and women to be against each other. Lights, where the whole light skin and dark skin is derived from is from the Willie Lynch theory. So back in 2012 and shit, y'all know y'all niggas thought it was cool to be on Twitter talking about, oh I'm light skinned nigga, I I I'm better than you cause you dark skin. I was never with that shit, never have I ever condoned that shit. You feel me? That shit, you niggas look like clowns to me, nigga. At 13, I was calling you niggas clowns, bro. Like in my, I ain't know why it was wrong, but in my mind, I knew that shit was wrong. You feel me? So it's like that's what all that is derived from, and this is just part of the Willie Lynch theory. And if you light skin, hey, it ain't necessarily a good thing. I mean, be proud of your skin color. Don't get me wrong. But if you light skin, I'm just saying the history of it is not necessarily good for the fact that African American slaves were raped by white men. You feel me? So, you know, just take that into account. That's where you get your some of y'all get your light skin from. Some of y'all could have got it from, you know, your grandparents who's fucking with them white people. You feel me? You never know. It could have been consensual. But uh, yeah, that's where the whole light skin versus dark skin thing came from. And that's part of the Willie Lynch theory. And niggas was they was y'all was clowning each other, going against each other on Facebook. And it irks me when black men clown dark, darker, darker tone women. I don't know about child nigga. Y'all niggas, but I always found brown skin and dark, dark skin women to be beautiful. You feel me? Now, I'm not saying, yo, abandon your preference. Some people do like lighter, lighter tone women or lighter tone guys. I'm just saying, you don't got to be little red person because of their darker tone. You feel me? If you don't like that tone, that's fine. But you don't got to be little red person, make them feel bad and insecure about it. You feel me? So, this is all a part of the Willie Lynch theory. Also, um... They would they would uh breed like loyal black men who were like let me see who they they basically took the will from black slaves you know and they would make them uh breed with women who were the exact equivalent of those black slaves so you basically you breed a race of slaves who were already built and embedded. To be loyal to their slave masses and shit like that. It's kind of like crossbreeding. Matter of fact, they, they use this as an analogy in that open letter of, of Willie Lynch. They use horses as like the analogy. You know, if you breed two horses or two dogs to be a certain type of or have a certain type of behavior, the next generation is automatically going to have that and they're going to embed it in their offspring. So basically, they did that to take the power of will from a slave master. Now, if I'm wrong, y'all could correct me at any moment. Leave a comment, you know, because this is just my understanding of it right now. I'm going to 
um, of course, look deep into it and try to interpret it as much as I can. But yeah, Willie Lynch theory was basically a generational thing that was supposed to last for the next 400, 500 years. A thousand years. That was the whole idea of it, to create a whole generation of slaves that would obey their masters, give them no problems, you know, and shit like that. So yeah, I tried to make this video short because I know niggas, yeah, <laughs> some niggas, you feel me, y'all got short attention spans and shit. I ain't gonna do over five minutes. But yo, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think about this series. Should I keep going? Um, you fuck with it, you feel me? I'm gonna do more of this shit. And I'm not gonna make videos and not do my research on topics like this, cause shit like this is touchy. You feel me? But um, yeah, man, show me what y'all what y'all think. Subscribe, like, comment, nigga. I'm off this, you heard?